Hello everyone, Scalia23 here, and welcome back to the Hard Eldar campaign playthrough. So, last game we um, did a, a, a tier 1 push with um, Alatok, so we had some fun with Corsairs and Rangers. Um, so I think what we'll do in this next one, we've still got probably another two turns until we... Um, want to take on the Necron Stronghold. Um, so in this uh, video we'll take on this one and then after that I think we will do this one um, purely because once we've taken these two and then waited, um, you know, ended the turn so we can then attack the Stronghold we should have enough requisition to get all of the Honor Guard. I don't really want to try doing the Necron Stronghold without all the Honor Guard. So, yeah, we are going to use Ulfui in this um, in this skirmish. So Ulfui, like Samhan, are going to be one of the craft worlds with the greatest um, playstyle difference, reason being that um, Ulfui use Guardians basically through most of the game, and they get heavily... Um, heavily scaled up so that they can keep up sort of into into tier three. So let's take a look at Ulfwe. So Ulfwe, what do you get? Um, first thing to say is that you have a few immediate changes. So Guardians gain access to grenades and Aspect Warriors cost plus one squad cap to build. So similar to uh, Iandan and Biotan. In regards to researches, um, you have uh, at tier one, Guardians gain buffed mass morale and health. Tier two does require you to have both of the Warlock researches. So once we have both of them, it becomes available. Um, so all the various Warlock squads will either have their damage buffed or will gain a new weapon uh, you know, visual weapon uh, with upgraded stats. Uh, all Warlocks gain increased health and all, well, attachable and leader Warlocks will have their Conceal Rune buffed. So it will require, uh, it will give you more passive um, damage reduction. And then at Tier 3, again, you need the Farseer Research. And this gives you Farseer more health and then an improved Farsight Psychic Storm, Eldritch Storm um, spells, and then an improved Fortune ability. So Fort Fortune is the AoE damage reduction aura, which is now, um, as of the last patch, not on Warlocks. It's just on the Farseer. Okay, uh, you have the enhanced Grav platforms, and you have the Shining Spear upgrade for your two shared researchers. In terms of unique units... You have Black Guardians. You have Greater Grav Platforms, also available to Yimlock. You have the Hemlock Wraith Fighter. And you have the Scat Hatch Wraith Knight. So how do Eldar... Um, sorry, how do Ulf we work then? Because we're, you know, getting, uh, you know, Guardians and then using them for a long time. So you will start off with your guardians in tier in tier zero, obviously. As soon as you get the um, Ulthwi craft world, they'll get grenades. And then in tier one, you will get the research and they will get stronger. Also in tier one, you'll get the warlock upgrade, which means the warlocks also um, provide, um, you know, more, more survivability. You will then get tier two. They'll get stronger because of the um, infantry upgrades. But tier two, um, you will get the next warlock upgrade, and that will give the conceal ability, which will further what buff them. Um, in tier two, you will also gain, oh, sorry, also gain the black guardians. And what the black guardians do is for each model. So they have a damage buffing aura, but it's on a per model basis. 
So the more models you add, the more your Guardian's damage will be buffed, hence scaling more up the tiers. Um, so you want to get a few Black Guardian squads, but you also want to still have normal Guardian squads because of the relationship between the two. Um, you need a few Black Guardian squads to make the most out of the, uh, of the damage buffing aura, but you need to have enough Guardian squads to actually use that buff. And then they'll continue scaling into Tier 3 with the Greater Grav platforms. Now what these do, these have a protective aura, so it's like a mobile shield generator. The way that works is um, it affects units that are infantry, so infantry medium, and elite infantry. Uh, no, sorry. Uh, these will protect normal infantry to a much higher extent. So it will buff the durability of your basic guardians by a lot. Then any other armor class, so your black guardians, your aspect warriors, your wraith guard, will then benefit from the shield much less. So that it's not then just an insane you know, buff for everything else. Okay, and then one other thing to talk about. So a change I've made for the next patch, so this isn't live yet, but it'll be um, in whichever patch comes after 2.51, is that Guardian uh, leaders, so the Warlocks, and the attachable Warlock, they no longer require the Aspect Portal. They now require the Craft World Beacon. So if you are playing um, Ulthoi, uh, or other races that you have, um, things like the Corsairs, um, you can actually bypass the Aspect Portal in the early game. So you no longer need the Aspect Portal to, to, to get to Tier 1. But if you do miss it off, when you get to Tier 1, you'll be able to build the Warlocks, where you can build them before Tier 1. But because of weird code stuff with the Guardian Defenders, um, because you can now build the Warlock without the Aspect Portal, you'll be able to build the rest of the platforms without the Aspect Portal. So you can go into Tier 1 and still get Warlocks and still get Grav Platforms without the Aspect Portal. And then you can add that as and when you need to. Um, and that extends the strategies that you can do with things like Alatoc and the Corsair Craft Worlds with their use of uh, Rangers and... Um, Corsairs, you know, you've got enough stuff to be able to bypass the Aspect Portal completely. Okay, so let's jump back into the campaign. And let's go. Right, let's pause the game. So, uh, I think this is the smallest map we've played on so far. Um, I think what we're going to do is just spam Guardians. Um, so, these two sides are where we'll end up fighting the Necrons. Um, it can take us a while to get there because we've got one, two, three points to, to capture first. So I think because of that, we might try and do a four Guardian start so we can capture these uh, super quickly and then try and just dissuade the Scarabs from recapping them. And then the first two will capture these. Um, usually we wouldn't be able to afford that, but by not building the Aspect Portal, that should give us enough resources to cover those extra Guardian squads. So, let's go. And we'll get the Craft World Beacon. We'll get our Fire Sages into the middle. Because, yeah, why not? Oops, I meant there. And... Okay, so four squads of Guardians. And also this is good use of money as um, we'll be using these squads pretty long term. 
And I think at this moment we'll also get grenades quite early because our guardians obviously can use them. Guardian squad ready. Yes. All Eldar must answer the call. Closing in on the objective. All Eldar must answer the call. My music is a pillar upon which whole worlds have been built. My music is a pillar right. upon which whole worlds have Let's been built. Let's get started with you will have what you require. Soul Shrine. We are shaped by fate just as we shape it. Success. Success. My music we'll is queue up another power. We will start capping. We so what we're probably going to do is we won't bother getting um, the relics uh, capped. We will, as quick as possible, get these capped so we can hold them easier. And then we will start saving up for tier one. Okay, so we've beat the Necrons to these two. And then we've got the Farseer sitting in the middle just to stop any capping attempts. And this all lines up very nicely because we can go straight up to tier one. And then we will cap and we will cap and then when we've got spare money we'll get some um, we'll get three web gates base and on each side so we can move stuff around as and when we need to let's get another builder up and we can get the next power up and then we've got enough money to get the first of the upgrades that's fine for now. Okay, so we need to start thinking about potential battles. So we're going to get these up. Okay, let's also get our infantry upgrades. Make sure that we've got everything with guns. Right, so let's, as usual, get up to tier two. That will let us get Mind War. And Mind War has had a hotkey change. It's now an H. And I suspect, because we've done that prior damage, this may just kill it. I think I might be one tick. Ah, no. That final tick got it. Okay, so... Very low on power. So we've got uh, those done. My powers are we are taking damage. Okay, I'm going to get this new ability. This gives boosted um, knockback morale damage, which isn't relevant here, and um, DPS support morale. Okay, so let's get the uh, power boost. Let's get Okay, so what we're going to start doing now is really start pumping money. Oh, cheeky bastards. Uh, yeah, let's start getting our fighting power actually up. We're going to go to tier 2 pretty soon. Let's run these up here. Make sure we've got everything upgraded. Cool. Guardian 
Let's start getting some grav platforms. Okay, so then we can use these to recapture. Let's get these back to a Webway Gate so we can fight as and when we need. Let's get another HQ up. Okay. So we're not going to bother with flamers, but I think we'll keep these available if we need to get rid of vehicles at some point. So I think we're good for now. We're going to get requisition upgrade as soon as possible. And in fact, the time for war is let's nine. get Bonesinger oh, jump and let's get some stuff into the middle. Fear the judgment of the My powers are yours now. And then we want to get Our minds work as one. tier two. Okay, visibility, we're going to get heal. We're going to get a few more workers, because we're going to just double our power income. Two there. You will have what you require. You will have what you require. Okay, so we're just waiting for tier two now. We can get this built on. Let's get our guardians back in play. Go up to tier two. Command me to build. Nothing remains unchanged by the music of creation. The bird oh, damn, you're meant to be capping. Command me to build. Got a jump. So we can expand Command our area that we can jump stuff between. Command me to Even build. more. We should have tier two by now. Not quite. And then we're pretty much going to be able to bypass tier two, because what we're going to do... Okay, so we've got tier two, we get the economic upgrades. We get our shrine. We get the infantry upgrades, uh, the runes of battle, in fact, so there's quite a lot we can get here. Uh, we'll get the morale upgrade for now. And then basically we're going to go straight up to tier 3, get some heavy grab platforms and then push. So let's get some Black Guardians. Floating a lot. So we can just get another HQ. We're going to get our guardians to the middle. In fact, I think for now, we're going to uh, keep everything in the middle. Because we've got some good guardian, uh, some good warlocks. No, we're not. Cause we've already got warlocks on the squads. Infantry speed, warlock ability. Second one is done, so we can get this. Okay, and then I think we can pretty much just wait for tier 3. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to jump a few of these over here, get some vision up, see what's going on. These guys are done. Uh, what I'm going to do, I think what we'll do We'll just get a string of them here because we'll put our heavy support portal there. Although I'm not sure if we're actually going to use it. 
Okay, let's just do that. Let's get our vision. And we're nearly at tier three. There we go. Keeping our resources nicely balanced. Okay. So our economy is kicking now. Let's get the Seer Council. We can attach the uh, Farseer to that. And we can jump our Farseer up to level 5. Let's get all of its spells. Okay, I'm just going to get this to tier to upgrade just so we can take advantage of all these power we've got around it. And let's take advantage of our powerful platforms. Um, we've not got too much anti-vehicle at the moment, although we can get that with um, the Black Guardians or the Storm Guardians and the Fusion Guns, but I think what we'll get is we'll get a few Vibra Cannons because we are lacking in anti-structure, get our economic upgrades, we will get our infantry upgrades, we will get these upgrades, and I think we are good to go. So wait for that to be done. Let's get a couple of the greater grav platforms. Well, let's get three of them for fun. Okay, so we're actually starting to uh, feel a bit requisition starved. Let's get the heavy support portal first. There we go, some lovely new models, complete with Guardian Operator. Okay, I'm just going to quickly improve our economy, because why not? We're pretty much just styling on the uh, Necrons because uh, we, we took so much of the map, they've not had a whole lot of uh, speed income. Okay, we can actually get something nice here. Let's get... The Link Super Heavy. Um, I think we'll spend some resources getting up to tier 6, get our extra tankiness. We will attach... Where are they? Attach our Farseer. And then we'll decide what we're doing. Okay, so we get our range stuff on number 2. Get these on number 3. Not going to upgrade them yet. When we need their damage, we will get it. Uh, when we need to know what sort of damage type we need. Get our melee. Get everything that's ranged on hold fire. Uh, we'll add this. So as you'll see, the all the super heavies and the greater grab platforms have the same weapon upgrades. Cool. So let's just attack, move, and protect this side. Might as well just... Uh, oh, these are all fully upgraded anyway. Cool. Okay, so we can tear up. We can get more Relic. No, we can't. But I think we'll do that. Cool. Uh, we are in... I know we're in tier 3 at the moment. Okay, so this is nice and easy. We've not got a whole lot of anti-vehicle, but... Um, I think what we'll do is we'll get our Black Guardians. Oops, they've not got all, uh, one of them have works on. Let's put fusion guns on the Black Guardians. Command me to build. We are shaped okay, so we are pretty damn loaded. I think we've got everything. Most of them at tier two. Or not. 
And we can pretty much attack move now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get a couple... Okay, so let's get the aspect portal now. I'm going to get some warp spiders just so I can teleport them in and basically decap stuff. Okay, so we need these nice and close so that our fusion guns can do their jobs. I'm going to use these to tank for anything. Let's get these over here. Let's get these all here. These here. Let's just run all of our melee over here so they're all in the right place. Okay. Stop them here. We'll get the shadow, sorry, the vibra cannons attack moving. So we've got vibra cannons for anti structure and we've got the links for um, anti uh, structure. Let's get the first of these. Let's get our upgrades. Let's drop 3000 on the avatar. Get that queued over here. And let's also get the Shadow Seer, which has been moved. I totally forgot about that. Shadow Seer is now in the Shrine of the Laughing God, which is its god's. Uh... Yeah, the Shadow Seer is a Holoquin unit. I'm just going to build that as quick as possible. Um, yeah, so get the morale. Let's just queue up some warp spiders. That's near plenty of generators, so Shadow Seer shouldn't take too long to build. The Shadow Seer, uh, Shadow Seer is a lengthy unit to build. Right, we'll get everything taken. Let's take a look at this. Let's just get a bunch of warp spiders. Okay, we really are loaded. Let's just go ham on uh, hero levels. Maxed out hero level. Let's get the avatar over here as quick as possible. And what we want is these to Get that done, then we'll get another one built. Uh, let's just get two of these. Okay. jump these in and just take these. I'm not paying for any of their upgrades. Let's just move everything in. Got the avatar and the shadow. Uh, sorry, the vibra cannons weren't put on a hotkey. Cool, and I think we're just attack moving for the win. So let's uh, jump these guys as far over as we can. Get going on another web sale. We can get going on the Phantom Titan. Not that it's ever going to get. Oh, uh, we'll do a Revan. And we can get the two important abilities. Get some morale. Actually, let's just get the morale first because that's actually going to be here quick enough to use. We can get alacritying this. And alacrity is almost done. Alacrity, I believe, is on N. Let's just check that. Uh, it is. And I uh, need another five seconds. So that's it. So, yeah, uh, all three are definitely an early game. Uh, yeah, they translate very well because you obviously need capping units to cap in the early game. Usually you don't want to get too many and you don't want to um, reinforce them too much because it's a waste of resources. The thing with all three is that you get them you get the craftable beacon very quick, so you get grenades on them, and then you can get you know, pretty aggressive. But then as you get into tier one, you no longer need to train any of the units, you just get a huge amount of research. So there's a lot of researches to get. You want to get you know, grenades, um, infantry, health and um, damage. You want to get the warlock upgrades. You want to get the all three unique researches. You know, there's a lot of money you can spend on the researches, but then you're just sticking with the guardians. Um, they're also very cap efficient and um, that said if you do you can supplement with um aspect warriors even though they're taking up more cap than usual that's just kind of just balancing against the 
cost effectiveness of your guardians. Um, because you do get buffed warlocks, so you can use a lot of the aspects warriors with the buffed warlocks, and they'll be more protected than usual, which is quite interesting. Um, yeah, and it's all very easy because then you know you get um, the greater grab platforms. You can get any type of damage you need from them because they've got anti-structure vehicle and infantry options. You've got anti-vehicle from your storm guardians and your black guardians. Um, you've got the def you know, guardian defender options for different damage profiles. So you can really just push and push and push and never stop pushing. So kind of like um, Sam Han in that you start off your aggression in tier one and then you can just push and push and push with the same units for most of the game. So yeah, hope you enjoyed that and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Um, oh, but first, I keep doing this. I need to keep seeing if I've got war, um, war gear before I say goodbye. Um, let's get ability recharge rate and range attack protection. Uh, yeah, let's get these two. Cool. Until the next time. Bye.